Good morning everybody. I have put together a little video today just to help you along with maths. Now for today's maths lesson you are going to need um, your busy maths sheet if you have it which looks like this. If you don't have that busy maths sheet all you're going to need is a piece of paper and a pen and you're going to need 11 things to be able to use to help you camp today. So if you need to go and run off and get those things now press pause on the video, go and get them and come back when you're ready. Okay, so today's maths lesson is going to be all about the number 11. We have been really busy at starting to count beyond the number 10 now and this week we're going to look at the number 11. Now we're going to look to th this morning at what the number 11 looks like when we write it down, what the number 11 looks like when we write the word 11, what it looks like when we do a tally and what it might look like in lots of different ways if we drew a picture of 11 things or we drew um, them on a, on a tens frame. And then later on, I want you to practice what we did in our yesterday's lesson, partitioning the number 11. And I want you to see how many different ways you can partition, which means find two parts of the number 11. But we're going to start first of all with our busy math sheet. Now, if you don't have a busy math sheet, you can just write all of this on a plain piece of paper. That's fine. But I'm going to turn the camera now so that you can see the busy math sheet for today. Now, boys and girls, your job is going to be to fill in each of these boxes. The first box says that we have to write the number 11. So, you are going to practice this writing the number 11 on your sheet. Now remember the number 11 is made up of 10 and 1 and it looks like this. Number 11. Then you're going to practice writing the word 11. Now you might need an adult to help you with this. The adult can write the word out for you and you can copy underneath. Watch me write the word 11. Eleven in the box. Now boys and girls, our next box says that we have to write a tally and remember when we're using a tally we're grouping in fives. Now let's have a go at doing a tally for the number 11. So I'm going to count one, two, three, four and five goes through the middle. One, two, three, four and five goes in the middle. Five and five, how many have I got all together? Five and five, that's right, I've got ten. Five and five is ten. How many more will I need to add to my tally to make eleven? Well done. Eleven is one more than ten. So I need one more on my tally. Five, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. As a tally, we do five and five and one more. Brilliant. Have a look at my tens frame here. I want to show the number 11. And I know that when I have a full tens frame, I have how many on my tens frame? That's right, I have 10. Watch me draw my 10 on my tens frame now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But I want to show eleven. So how many more will I need to draw on my tens frame to show eleven? I've already done ten. Good. Just like the tally, I need one more. Ten and one is eleven. Super work everybody. Okay, now this box is my favourite part of Busy Maths. 
in this box today, you need to draw something 11 times. So you might choose to draw 11 footballs or you might choose to draw 11 love hearts or 11 sunshines or 11 smiley faces. You can draw 11 of anything you would like today. I'm going to draw 11 love hearts, I think. Watch me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven love hearts. You might even want to colour in your pictures once you have drawn your eleven pictures. Boys and girls, when you've completed that sheet, I've got one more challenge for you. What I'd like you to do today is using your counters or using your cubes or your Lego, whatever you used yesterday, I want you to count out 11 of those things. And when you've got 11, I would then like you to keep practicing partitioning the numbers. Now remember, partitioning means that we split up the numbers into two parts. And you can do this like you did yesterday with your bowls, or like I did, you can draw two circles to help you. So watch, here's my 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Here are my eleven cubes. They're all in a row together. And what you need to do today is split up your eleven cubes into two parts. I'm going to draw my circles again on the board. Here we go. And I want you to use your circles to split up the 11 cubes. Watch me do it first. I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five. Five cubes in this circle. And then I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six in this circle. I've partitioned my 11 into 5 and 6. The parts are 5 and 6. All together, I should have 11. Shall we count and check? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All together, we have 11. Boys and girls, your challenge today is to see how many different ways you can partition 11. Can you find another way that's different to my way? Can you find more than one way to do it? I can't wait to see your work later. Take care, boys and girls.